welcome back to Ballhead of Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, I want to react to a song that's not been recommended, but actually piqued my curiosity based on an email I got of a particular band releasing a new album. The name kind of sounded cool. Ahab, just certain mystery around some of the text. So I thought, hey, let me check it out, see what it's all about. Never heard of this band myself. Hopefully, it's something interesting, fun to check out. Let's get right into it. Now, if you're a fan of Wolf Tooth, guys, I'm going in completely blind. I like all genres of heavy metal, but I'm also quite picky in my tastes. I express my thoughts. I express how I feel about the music I hear. So you know what's going on in my head, but I try to be respectful. I never shit on a band for something that might not just click with me in particular, but at the very least we create conversations together that I thought would be interesting. Without any further ado, guys, let's see what we got here. I try to come in with, you know, as open mind as possible to see uh, what it's all about. I think it's supposed to be like just like straight up heavy metal. See me, the quality is good. Okay, it's good. Nice kind of a build up, piano with a guitar. If this is anything like the sword, I am on board like that. Uh, what is it called? Stoner, like stoner, heavy metal sound, like of the uh, old school Ozzy and Judas Priest and all these kinds of days. Oh my God, I'm so on board if that's what it's about. Really? That's 1080p? first glance it seems a little too close in style to the sword like it exactly how they play the riffs and melodies may hit who knows maybe there's somebody from uh the sword that's in here it's just the one thing that happened with the sword for me after i believe four albums i think it was four albums they switched their style completely to this more rock alternative or i don't know what to call it and i was not on board i just didn't like it i liked their first four albums a lot and then I kind of fell off on them completely. Uh, as of now, I like the retro sound of this song. Yes, it's close to the sword's sound, but I'm gonna, again, stay with an open mind. Maybe it's just the beginning how it kind of starts and you know switches up and opens up to something different. But even if it is close to the sword, I, I just like that sound and I'm, I'm on board so far, I like it. And I guess, what about Pirates? his voice. Yeah, it's very groovy. I I like the sound of it. I don't know why. Like I would hear, like to hear. I know there's a whole genre. I I probably just don't listen enough to stone or metal. 
Uh, and I don't know why they haven't done something like surfer music with metal. At least maybe I'm just not aware of it. I thought that'd be really cool. There was a rock band that did it in 2000s. I forgot their name. Uh, that was really good. Like surfer rock, modern surfer rock sound. So far, in terms of what I like, what I dislike, I really like the voice. I like the sound, but there's, um, just because the only example I can think of right now, uh, is the sword. I'm trying to remember some of the other stoner guys that I listen to. High on Fire. Um, those two bands, High on Fire and, and the sword, there's, there's, there's more, it's more dynamic. And explosive and and energy this is like this energy about them and this is kind of a little bit mellowed out at least this particular song is a little bit more mellowed out uh so the riffs themselves kind of are interesting even if they don't switch a whole lot uh like so far this doesn't stand above the rest of me like i saw some of the comments being written about this band uh how good they are and i i can get it if this is just the genre you listen to. Uh, but for me, like there's some element that needs to be here to really, really just kind of the dynamic of it, you know, uh, that's right now lacking. But it's only three minutes and a half in the song. I'm sure it's gonna, there's gonna be more to it. Hopefully that that these, these, these elements of like what the bridge and the chorus, that there's something beyond it. There's an interesting solo, speed maybe some something that something has to happen i don't know so far i'm enjoying it but i'm not blown away Switch. Yeah, it's switched a really nice scene this kind of particular section. Um I don't know if it's the production that's kind of muting it. There's just there's just something about it that's not jumping at me. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's not bad, but just I've heard better examples of this. Uh maybe no current example. High and fire is pretty current and couple of other bands I have to have to look into my discography oh uh, but I'm like for example listening to this particular song I wouldn't be intrigued to listen to their full album you know 
perhaps it's not the best example to show for a newcomer, but that's kind of the one I've been discovered with. And that's sometimes how it works, right? You see a YouTube recommendation, you check it out, then you go, ah, this is not for me. And then you listen to a new single and you're like, whoa, why did I miss this? Uh, so perhaps maybe you can recommend me a better song than this, or maybe just a better stoner metal band. Uh, I would like to hear from you guys. Kind of a nice smooth solo um you know what it is like it's that the elements by themselves are great the some of those parts is what's not clicking for me in this particular band um and the reason i say that i wouldn't listen to it is because our attention now is limited to how many things can we listen to like for example per year there will be about 30 or 40 albums that I want to listen to. Some of them will be new bands. And when you listen to a new band now, then you want to dive into their discography. And for me, listening to an album once is not enough. You know, I want to listen to it on repeat multiple times, along with watching other media, whether it be movies, TV shows, I'm a gamer, work. Like, you know, our attention is limited to how much we can spread. I also have this kind of a, a psychological thing where if I have too much choice i get overwhelmed by it psychologically so i have to limit myself a little bit more this way i feel more comfortable because it feels more attainable to listen to everything that i have or to engage with everything i have i know it's silly it's only entertainment but just how, how my brain works so in, in the search of music let's say if i'm on my path of research to find a band it has to stick with me it doesn't have to be the best band in the world something has to stick like i remember the first time i heard hate breed Hate Breed is nothing special for those who know who they, what they are. And it's kind of a metalcore, hardcore sound. They're nothing special, but just their riffs are really catchy. Their sound sounds really good. It's really easy to kind of get into and nod your head. They had me. They had me from the beginning, and they're worse than many other bands that I listen to, but just something about them got me. And then there's somebody like Bellacore, a melodic death metal band coming from Australia, that just... That just completely captured my attention how good they were and i couldn't believe that i've never heard of them and then there's something like this where it kind of falls into more indifferent territory uh, and this is no knock on the band i'm sure there's somebody else who's going to hear this and you know feel like this is just an absolute masterpiece and that's where the difference in taste comes in i i started shying away from this idea that oh this is objectively bad that this is objectively good when it especially comes to entertainment, because we all take in entertainment very differently. You know, I might see the movie uh, Lincoln and be like, oh my God, what a great historical film. Another person's like, oh my God, this, I don't want to see real life history. I just want to be taken away on a journey and have a kind of be able to relax and not have to think about real life problems. And people, people are going to be correct in their opinion and their assessment. Okay, it's the end. I didn't know I stopped right at the end. Sorry about that, guys. But now you heard my whole opinion, kind of what I think about it. Uh, for the fans of Wolf Tooth, uh, please let me know. What did I get wrong? What do you feel like I've gotten wrong? Is this a good example of what the band is? So it's just basically not for me. Or 
it's just one of their slower songs or their older albums are better. Give me a little history if you don't mind. Uh, if you got into this far in the video. And guys, make sure to enjoy your holidays. Take care of yourselves and have a good one.